a cyclist goes down the hill shown in figure. The cyclist and his bicycle have a combined mass of 100 kilograms. He rides to the bottom without pedaling or using the brakes. A. Calculate the potential energy lost by the cyclist and his bicycle when he goes from the top of the hill to the bottom. Again, let's collect our givens. We have 100 kilograms, which is the mass, M. We also have the 14 meters, which is the height, H. And he's asking for the potential energy. Of course, the mathematical rule that links these three quantities is potential energy equals M, G, H. M, which is 100 kilograms. G, which is the acceleration due to gravity, 10 meters per second square and 14, which is the height. This gives the potential energy 14,000 joules. So, potential energy up the hill equals 14,000 joules. Question B. Calculate the maximum speed he could have when he arrives at the bottom of the hill. We have nothing to do in this question but to consider it as a free fall case, which means there will be no resistance and no friction that oppose the motion of the bicycle. If we assume that this case is a free fall, this means that the potential energy up must equal the kinetic energy down. They both will be 14,000 joules. So we say, for free fall cases, potential energy up equals kinetic energy down because anything that falls freely its potential energy completely changed to kinetic energy and there will be no loss as heat or sound these quantities equal 14,000 joules so let's go to the kinetic energy kinetic energy equals half mv square this means that kinetic energy which is 14,000 equals half times 100 which is the mass times v square and we need the v square to find the speed v doing our calculations we can find that v square equals 280 if we take the root of both sides this means that v will be root 280 this will be 16.7 meters per second of course this is assuming that this is a free fall so no pedaling or brakes and no friction. Question C. Explain why his actual speed will be less than that calculated in B. Okay, again, we assume that in this case, this is a free fall case. So, no air resistance, no pedaling, no any force that resists the motion or even help the motion. And this made us say that potential energy up the hill will be completely changed to kinetic energy down the hill. So they are numerically equal, which is in our case 14,000 joules. But actually, this is not the truth. There will be air resistance, and there will be friction, and there will be some energy lost as heat and sound due to this friction. That's why, in the true case, Potential energy up will not equal the kinetic energy down. Kinetic energy down will be less because some energy will be lost as heat and sound. So we will say that in our calculations, we ignored any kind of friction and air resistance. But actually, there are friction and air resistance that will cause some energy loss. This is for one mark.